Today, I show you how to properly assassinate a hard drive. All right, I'm assuming that the hard drive that you have, you've already backed it up, you've taken everything that you want off of it, and it is ready to be brought out behind the barn and shot. Properly killing this hard drive is going to take two steps. One is deleting it from a software perspective. I will leave a link uh, in the description below, as well as right here, as far as um, a free software that I recommend. It's called Derek's Boot and Nuke. You create a boot CD or a DVD, and uh, you use that to wipe the drive that you want to erase. Make sure you select the correct drive at this stage when you're doing that because if you select the wrong drive, there is no recovering that at all. There's no undo button on this. Now, once you have erased it like that, now it's time to get physical. One thing you don't want to do is put it in a microwave. Do not do that. That is a terrible idea. For CDs or DVDs, sure. For a hard drive, first you have to leave it in there for a very long time. And second, there's a probability that it will explode and throw shrapnel all over the place and at best just destroy the microwave that it's in. So do not microwave it. Also do not burn it. I've read articles that said that burning the hard drive is fine. It is not. It has things inside of this uh, computer and the, and the hard drive uh, that are toxic if it were to catch on fire. Um, it will release fumes. You don't want to be breathing that or putting that in the atmosphere. So here's how you do it. bad boy over. First, let's remove the battery. One less chance you'll get shocked as you're going through this thing. These have extra tiny screws. Had to get a precision screwdriver kit. Several different panels here on the back. Usually it's the largest one. See, in this case, that's the RAM. There it is. And proceed to remove any screws you possibly can find that are potentially holding it down. Now this particular drive also is inside of a some kind of a metal casing here. So I can see it's being held in place by these four Phillips screw screws. Okay. There we go. Now we've got the hard drive all naked. All 40 gigs of it. Watch out everybody. Never a bad idea to put on these super sexy goggles. Now if you look at it, you'll see it kind of goes around here, got a round shape. That's where the platter is. And the platter is what you need to cut. So think of the platter as an old record, like a 33 or something. And the grooves in the record is how the music plays. Well, something, it's very, very similar in a hard drive. Uh, it spins in a circle, it writes the data to it, it pulls the data off. So just identify where the platter is. Put a piece of wood underneath it because you're going to be probably drilling all the way through it. And that platter is completely destroyed. If you want to just be sure, throw it in a couple, a couple other spots where the platter is. Now between wiping the data using that boot and nuke, as well as doing this, there is no way anybody is ever getting the data off this thing again. And there you have it. Now I've also heard of people smashing with hammers and putting nails through it. A metal drill bit is just more fun. Now at this point you can grab the laptop and everything else that's in it and bring that down to a recycling center. Best Buy has a free recycling program in all 50 US states. Uh, you can bring up to three devices per household per day. Uh, they will recycle that free of charge. Most things, laptops and cell phones and rechargeable batteries, not alkalines, things like that. Uh, check out their website for more details. I will link, leave that link in the description below as well. Otherwise, if there's no Best Buy near you or if you are in Canada, eh, you can just check out your local resources and see what your town has. There are typically recycling centers. Either your town has one or a very nearby town has one. 
uh, where you can recycle things for free because there's a lot of stuff in these guts, these computers uh, that are first off hazardous uh, to be thrown in la landfills and second, uh, it's just, it's highly recyclable. The aluminum in them, the chips, things like that, uh, they can really dissect these things and uh, put them back to good use. All right, Home Slices, that is it for me. If you liked what you saw, hit subscribe, smash that button, and I will see you next week. All right, Home Slices, that is it for me. Whoa, I, I really zoomed this in too much.